hello friends this is ashirwad here in this video we will start with tokens okay it is very important to understand this term uh, because uh, when we are talking about java language or any programming language the first thing that we should have command on is this okay so as far as the definition is concerned i have written here tokens are the basic building blocks of any programming language okay what do we mean by basic building blocks let's take example of english language what do you do first to learn english language okay you all know it you learn alphabets okay then using these alphabets you form words sentences then comes your grammar part and so on so this is how you learn english but as far as the programming language uh, is concerned the alphabets of any programming language is called tokens so i hope the thing is clear to you now there are five types of tokens in java as i have written them here we'll discuss them one by one and i have also written a, a very simple java statement a is equal to b plus c plus 100 and we have semicolon i'll explain uh, the individual parts of this statement later on but for now you just uh, understand that each and every single thing written in this uh, statement is a token okay this a is a token the equal to sign is a token the semicolon sign uh, is a token b and c and 100 a anything any single thing you see here in this statement is a token okay so on this basis i hope the definition is clear to you you can also say the smallest identifiable thing in any programming language is a token okay so let us discuss them one by one let us first take identifiers if you have seen my previous uh, videos there i have uh, mentioned uh, uh, the meaning of uh, um, the term called memory locations okay and why why the memory locations are important in order to perform a task okay so identifier is nothing but a name given to a memory location okay it's called identifier so very simple definition you can easily understand it for example if i write a is equal to 100 and semicolon here a is an identifier okay and the value this identifier is going to hold is 100 okay we can simply say the value of a is 100 after this line fine so this is identifier and there are two types as you can see first is called variable and second is called constant okay so what is variable well the name is itself uh, giving us the idea about what it is a variable is an identifier for which the value can be changed any time we want so this is the definition of the term variable okay for example if i write uh, a is equal to 100 semicolon and in the next line i write a is equal to 200 so 
what happens is when this line or this instruction is executed the value of a is 100 but when the machine executes this instruction the value 100 is overwritten by the new value 200 which means a is no longer holding the value 100 okay so since the value is uh, varying from here to here we can say a is a variable okay now how do we declare variables in java okay so to declare variables the first thing you write is data type okay and then you give space and then you write variable name and then you put semicolon uh, about this semicolon let me clear uh, this thing just like you use a full stop to end a sentence in English language we use semicolon to end a statement in Java so it's very very simple okay so this is how we declare a variable okay uh, you don't know anything about data types yet so let me just uh, write it for you int okay int is a data type in Java I will explain all the technical uh, stuff about int later on but for now you just understand that int is a built-in data type in Java and the name I am giving is n and semicolon so what I have uh, just done here I have declared a variable with the name n or I have declared an identifier with the name n or I have simply or declared a memory location with the name n. whatever you call it it's the same so what do you do with this memory location n or of course you store a value here so if I write this then it is a correct statement because 100 is a value can I store any other value here like uh, what if I want to store my name here this is incorrect okay and this is exactly what this uh, what the role of this data type is the data type tells about what type of value a memory location can store okay so since in this case the data type of a variable n is int we cannot store characters in it or strings in it okay a bunch of characters is called strings so I am trying to store a string here but it is not going to be allowed okay so all I can store is a number an integer number of course so this is for variable what about constant thing is you just write final final in small letters and then you write data type and then you write identifier or let me simply write uh, constant name and semicolon and of course you have to have a value for it okay so what is final here final is called uh, a keyword in Java there are many keywords like final okay int is also a keyword what does it do final uh, tells the Java system to declare this memory location as a constant which means once the value is given to this memory location it will not change okay so this is what it means
so if i want to declare a constant i will write final let the data type be int for now and let the name be n and i have to give a value 100 for example semicolon so in this case n is no longer a variable it's not a variable okay i have declared n as final which means once it has a value it is its final value which means if i try to change it it will not work this statement will give error okay so this is the difference between the variable and constant variable is uh, the identifier for which the value can vary can change anytime we want and constant is a type of identifier for which the value cannot be changed once given okay so this is what you have to understand in the upcoming video we will be discussing this thing in detail okay that is what is the role of data type and what are the other data types available in java to store different types of values not only integers okay so stay tuned for that so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe thank you